is opening day for San Diego's major new trolley blue line extension. That's right. They held a big family friendly event with free food and free music or a lot of music. Anyway, the more than $2 billion project started in 2016 under the direction of Sandag. Now the goal is to relieve traffic congestion, but Will it really be helpful to San Diegans? That's the big question. News it's Ariana Cohen hopped on the trolley. She spoke with some people about the new ride. It's a big day in San Diego now that the trolley is available to ride. I talked to some people who say the trolley will be helpful in many ways, while others do not. Crowds of people hopped on the trolley at the UCSD stop for a free ride. I'm on the trolley right now. It's 11:28 a.m. and I'm going to see how long it takes to get to UTC. The 11 mile extension of the UC San Diego Blue Line built by Sandag and operated by the Metropolitan Transit System includes nine new stations from the Santa Fe Depot downtown to the University City area along the Mid Coast I-5 corridor. It's 11:35 and I've already made it to UTC. So pretty quick, easy trip, very crowded today. It's the region's largest ever transit project, connecting the trolley with big employment centers in the Sereno Valley and University City areas and direct access to spots like Westfield UTC and UC San Diego. So I started at UC San Diego Central Campus, went to UTC. I waited around 15 minutes for the next trolley to come to head back and we'll see how long that takes round trip. This is very exciting. This is really going to help us really move around San Diego a lot more easily. Yeah. I'm going to take this down down to UTC every day for work. While some people are eager to ride the trolley, they have all these stops. Oh, bringing my son on the trolley for the first time. Never been on it, so I wanted him to have this experience. I'm a UCSD student, and I'm really interested in urban planning, so I was excited about the trolley opening. I think it's going to be great for shopping. Others say the trolley won't be too beneficial for San Diego. I don't trust our politicians to do what's best for the people. I don't understand quite why they went to all this expense with all the pylons and the elevated railway and stuff just to go to UTC. We have Genesee, which already goes there. Why not just put it in the middle? I mean, I'm kind of complaining because the Claremont Drive exit, there's no parking. So I, I think there's going to be some uh, adjustments. It's 1145 AM, and now I'm headed back. We're going to see how long that takes. The trolley will be used most by students getting to class, people trying to get downtown, and drivers hoping to save some time off their commute. Getting off now, it took about 30 minutes round trip. Trolley tickets are $2.50 for one way, or you can pay $6 for a day pass. You can also download the Pronto San Diego app to get your mobile ticket on there. I'm Ariana Cohen for News 8.